Morphing is a computer technique used to blend shapes together. The word comes from metamorphosis, which is defined as the transformation of a shape into another. It can therefore be used to mold or melt one object into another. Morphing is not a new technique, nor is it solely a 3D effect. In fact, early experiments in morphing were in 2D. We've all seen the effects of characters changing shapes in movies like Willow or Terminator 2, and in innumerable music videos and commercials. The methods and technologies have improved, but the basics remain the same. In 2D morphing, you define key points or curves on a source picture or frame, and define corresponding points or curves on a target frame. When these points and curves come together over time, they displace pixels in such a way that the source frame becomes the target frame. This is done through interpolation and the in-between frames show the transformation between the two pictures. In this case, we have an example of Albert Einstein morphing into Sigmund Freud. Morphing in 3D is in a sense easier. You do not need to specify key points or curves to morph one object into another. You do, however, have to follow a certain set of rules, the most important of which is that source object and target object have to have the same number of vertices. For best results, you usually create a source object, copy it, and then modify the copy into a target object. This way, not only can you control the number of vertices, but you can also control their location as well. In short, you control the topology of both objects to ensure a seamless transition. Interestingly enough, and because of these rules, morphing in 3D is very useful for animating facial expressions. Apart from the emotional aspect, an angry face is no different from a sad face, topologically speaking. Therefore, it is easy to morph one into another over time. The interpolation between the two expressions will push and pull vertices seamlessly for smooth animation. Morphing in 3ds Max is done with the Morpher modifier. The process is not hard. What is time consuming is to have the morph targets ready for use. For a speaking character, the morph targets would be copies of the character's head, modified into various expressions or phonemes. A phoneme is a basic unit of speech in a language or dialect, for example the K sound in Kilo or Eclectic. Notice it is all about the sound, not the letter, as there is no K in Eclectic. With a set of about 16 phonemes, you can utter just about any phrase you want. In this scene, you have 16 phonemes derived from a bass head. The topology remains the same and only vertex placement is different. Most of these 16 phonemes modify the lower part of the head, jaw, mouth, and chin. Therefore, two more morph targets were added to add some variety to the eyes, eyebrows, and forehead. The more expressions and morph targets you have, and the more variety you can introduce to the animation. To create such variation from a basic head, you'd need to copy that head and modify vertex placement. This is the time-consuming part. As an alternative, there are plugins and third-party software available that automate this process. This particular head and its derivatives were created from two photographs using an application called FaceGen. In the next movie, you will animate the base head to speak those immortal words made famous by Dirty Harry, Go ahead, make my day.